everyone. Now I want to discuss something about size of the bead on our nymphs. Right now I'm using size 4 tungsten, which is like 4 millimeters, and I'm using quite small nymph hook size 18. This is overkill, clearly. But sometimes fish, they like to eat very small bites, so that's why uh, this fly, and, and it needs to go down, so this fly will actually have smaller smaller but size body to compare to the because of the bead see I covered like one third of the hook so just this part is going to be our fly which is more size 20 even 22 so I'm going to make a pheasant tail it's the easiest one right now so no need to make anything else like pheasant tail is quite okay for the size of this fly I'll take maybe four strands that's more than enough make it quite short with the tail go quite short pinch and loop and catch it now, two tight traps are more than enough if you're not happy with the size of it with the length of your tail just pull up a little bit until you're happy now I'm happy now this bead is going to be in our way most of the time because if I stop it with a thread, I'm going to make too bulky fly, and I don't want to make bulky fly. The point of this fly is to sink, and to sink fast. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop it with pheasant tail, like this. And now I'm going to stop it here. I'm using very thin thread. Again, the reason is I don't want to build up too much material and it's the wire that will protect our fly right now not the thread I'm using thinner wire that will match the size of my fly and now I'm going to secure this wire add a little bit of thorax and that's it just cut this wire inside of the bead here. It's too long. I can always push it inside, who cares? Okay. Now secure it with a thread. For this one, I'm just going to add some uh, dubbing from the hair's ear. It's important not to add too much of it, so just a short noodle that I'm going to try to slide in the, the bead a little bit. And this is probably more than enough, but I'll add a little bit more. I can remove the excess after I'm happy with my thorax. So this is like I'm going to slide down the bead. And now I'm going to do a quick finish. Again, slide down the bead. This is white thread and it's almost translucent when you apply pressure on it, so I don't I'm not going to color it. Now when I'm happy with two the finishes, I'm just going to pinch all the fibers I don't need. This is our finished fly. This is complete overkill, but it's very useful when you need to put some, put your fly really fast and deep. Now, a little bit of less overkill is 3.5 cores. Three point five looks like oversized, but to be honest, like almost perfect oversized. So. Of course we are going to use this one more often. So same thing again. Make your fly. Be happy with it. So if you're happy with your fly you're going to fish it more often with a greater confidence. Of course this fly will have a bigger, larger, longer body than the one with 4mm bead. But it's a just a small difference.
Okay, this is more like normal fly. You should have at least half a dozen of these in your box and you're going to use it in any like very often I'm sure. So uh, compared to this one it's normal sized definitely. Now what I'm going to show you now is what happens with 3 millimeter on size 18 hook. It looks perfect, nice silhouette and uh, it's nice proportion. Again, I'm using 17 zero thread because it's a small fly. You don't want your thread to to make your fly too bulky, so you don't want your thread to be too thick. This is it, finished fly. This one is perfect. Nice, nice uh, ratio between hook size and bead size. A bit oversized, and something you don't want to show to others because they will laugh at you, but you will catch fish. And when you don't need so much weight, when you need something that goes really shallow, but still you need a bead. You can add 2.5, which I unfortunately don't have right now, and 2mm bead. And this is like completely, completely undersized bead. So I'm going to make this one very thin. I don't want my body to be thicker than the bead. I always like my beads to be a bit thicker than the, the rest of the fly. So I'm going to use very thin wire. This is 0 0.14. I've been using the same wire for the previous flies. This is it finished fly. Now let's make a comparison. Two extremes. Two millimeter, four millimeter. Same hook, same fly. Three mil and 3.5. You can see that the difference is like very, very clear. <coughs> now let me show that at the same spot. Okay, there you have it. So, two, three, 3.5 and four. Same fly, different applications for the fly. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to like, you liked the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you very much.